Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a pretty and easy eyeshadow look done in a few easy steps. Now, getting right into it, you're gonna to wanna to start off with a eyeshadow primer. One primer I would recommend is the Urban Decay um, Potion Primer. All across the board, it is a great primer to use. It makes the product stay on forever. But if you don't have a primer, concealer, do concealer does work really well as well. Um, but you're gonna to wanna to choose one that is very close to your skin tone, nothing you know lighter or darker. Um, and the eyeshadow sticks pretty uh, well onto it today, and I'm gonna be using Using concealer today to demonstrate how I get this eyeshadow look done now with the concealer you're gonna want to put very little bit even with the eyeshadow primer very little bit on your eyes especially with concealer because if you put too much on it's gonna become very clunky and it's not it, it's gonna make the eyeshadow look clunky as well and it's just gonna feel gross so you're just gonna want to put like a tap here and a tap here Let me make it even like that, and then you're gonna wanna take your finger and just spread it out. And make sure you get all over your eye lid as, as well as close to your eye brow as well. Okay, so I'm gonna be going for a very shimmery, pretty neutral look today um, that can go well with a lot of occasions. Now, the palette that I'm gonna be using today is the Blushed Neutral ah, Tongue Twister is the Blush Neutrals Palette by BH Cosmetics. Now, this is an all-around good neutral palette uh, to have. It has a lot of neutral colors, pinks, browns, um, peaches. Now, you can use any palette that you have on hand that has a lot of neutral colors and at least a few shimmery colors. Now, first off, we're gonna take a dark brown color, something like this. On camera, it doesn't really look that dark brown, but in person, it is um, dark brown, um, or something like this. Okay, so we're gonna be using a brush that is tapered off, tapered off like this, and you're just gonna wanna make sure it's fluffy at the end, um, just to make sure that you can blend it out. Now, if you have two separate brushes, then that's perfect, um, but some people don't, so um, you can use a tapered, a small tapered brush to apply the product first, and then you can use another brush to blend it out, a more fluffier brush to blend it out. Now, first, we are going to dip our brush into the brown um, color here, and then you don't wanna to put too much, and if you have too much, just tap it off, because you don't wanna make your eyes look like a raccoon with a lot of brown everywhere. So just a little bit goes a long way. And if it doesn't go a long way, you can always dip back in. So we're gonna focus on the inner portion, like this part of the outer eyelid, and that's where we're gonna put the most product on the eye. Okay, you're just gonna to wanna to use small circling motions just to start to blend the product out, like so. Now, I like to bring it up a little bit close to my eyebrow, but you don't have to. You could stick to this area or you could bring it out a little bit more. And I also like to bring it in just a little bit towards the inner part of my eyelid, but just focusing on the top, just to create a little bit more depth. But you don't really have to do that. You could stick to just bring it out to here. And you want to bring the eyeshadow just halfway into your eyelid, not too far in because you have to put the shimmery and the other eye eyeshadows in there, so not too far in. Okay, so there you have the first step done. I did complete this side of my eye. It's just a, it's a dark brown, but it doesn't show up too dark on your eyelids. Now for the next step, just to create a little bit more depth, I'm gonna go in with a, like a shade darker in the brown, and I'm just gonna focus that on the inner corner of the outer eyelid, so just here. And I'll create some dimension. We're not gonna blend that out too far, we're just gonna stick it right here and move it around just a little bit, like so. Kind of slowly tapping it on. And that's gonna create some dimension, like that. Again, focusing on just this portion right here. You don't want to go up. 
just right there. And we did the lighter, a little bit lighter, darker brown first so that this darker brown will blend nicely into the eye color, your natural eye color. Like that. Pretty. <laughs> All right, so I finished off this eye. Now for reference, I kept the bottom part of my eyelid like up to here. And then when I went to the top part, when I focused on here, I blended it out just a little bit into here to kind of create a nice little blending effect there and a little bit more depth. So stop here for the darker brown, the really darker brown and then bring it up very slightly over here. So it's kind of creating like a hat, like a crescent moon, I guess that would be called, right? Like this. And you wanna keep focusing on the outer lid like that. Okay, so now to focus on the inner lid portion, I chose a very rosy pinky color to go with the browns that I have on. I feel like that'll look very nice with it. And one tip that I have is you should use your finger to apply shimmery colors because I find that it goes on really well. It holds on to a lot more pigment and you have less fallout on your face. Now, if you don't feel comfortable using your finger, you can use a flat brush like this to apply it on. Um, and again, that works really well as well if you want to use a brush. But for today's sake, I'm going to be using my finger to apply the shimmer. You just want to drag your finger on the color very lightly just to get some on. And then we are just going to lightly tap it on. Now you don't want to go overboard and you know all over your eyelid and towards your eye, eyebrow. You guys the one I'm going to want to focus in that cocooned spot where the brown left where the brown is like on top of it. And then you want to take your finger and then just kind of where the brown and the shimmer meet, you're just going to want to lightly like brush over it with your finger, rub over it, just so they both blend with each other really nicely. Because you don't want to have like a straight line of um, shimmer and brown, it's just going to look silly. And there you have that eye. I'm just going to go finish off this eye and then I'll come back with the finished look. All right, so this is the finished look um, with the eyeshadow. As you can see, I tried to finish it off and blend the um, the shimmery into the brown ever so slightly. Um, again, super simple, super pretty. It can go with a lot of occasions um, that you have coming up. Hopefully, I don't know with everything going on right now, what occasions we do have, but <laughs> if you just wanna dress up for yourself, then this is really pretty to do. Um, if you guys have any other tips or comments, please leave it down below below and if you want to see any more beauty tip videos please hit that subscribe button bye for now